Can you tell us a little bit about how you became on the journey? Yeah, well, um, I'm Ray Dorset, the like the songwriter, or a singer songwriter, and I actually uh, adopted the persona of Mungo Jerry, the artist performer in um, early 1972 when I got fired from the band. In the summertime when the weather is hot, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. Yeah, well, I had a friend and work colleague uh, in the research laboratory at Timex, his name is Joe Rush, and we were interested in all the same kind of music. And we started off playing a kind of hybrid of uh, rural, brew, rural blues, skiffle, jug band music, rockabilly, stuff like that, you know, uh, Lead Belly, Woody Guffey music. And um, yeah, we got no, unfortunately, there's no video footage of that particular era around. And there might be a few photos you can have, have a look through the archive, see what you can find. And uh, we got together with a guy called uh, Colin Earl, who was a piano player that I knew. And I've been playing in bands with him and stuff, and uh, he liked some of the music. And we did a bit of jamming down the pub, and then we did a gig at Oxford University. We've got kind of a residency in a place in Hounslow, in Middlesex. Uh, it's called the Osterley Motel, which is very near to Heathrow Airport. And a guy started following us coming down there. His name was Paul King, and he joined the band also. So we were playing all this kind of stuff and big following, and uh, Joe eventually went his own way. And we've got a new double bass player in, Mike Cole, who went in the studio, recorded 17 tracks on one of them was the one that went all around the world in the summertime. Yeah, that was a line. Did Hollywood Festival, all that kind of stuff, and first album in the summertime and everything. Then we uh, we did a tour in, in the States in, in America and then uh, in the fall of 1970 on our, on our return for some strange reason or whatever, exactly what I am, I don't know, but uh, Mike Cole was ousted from the band. His place got taken by a guy called John Godfrey, late John Godfrey, unfortunately he's passed away now. He plays uh, electric bass and we went on and recorded with that lineup, Baby Jump which was the UK number one. <laughs> right, you might find that out there somewhere. And uh, Lady Rose. <laughs> Lady Rose. And funny enough, Paul King didn't even play on Lady Rose. In, in fact, it was just me, John Godfrey, and Colin Earl. That was a massive hit all around the world. And then we did this thing, you don't have to be in the army to fight in the war. And uh, early 1972, I think January, I think we went off, and we, we did this really long tour in the Far East, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok, you know, and um, on my return, I got a call to the office and I was told by Colin Earl and Paul King that I'd been fired from the band. And it was a bit weird because I was playing a guitar, wrote all the songs, I was the front man, the singer, and all that kind of thing. Colin Earl said to me, in a very sarcastic way, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. When you're playing down the pub, we'll come along and have a jam with you. Everyone, uh, Paul King formed a band, they called it the King Earl Boogie Band because the record company, the publishers, the management, they didn't agree with their decision. And they told me that I had to uh, become Mungo Jerry, the artist performer, and uh, Ray Dorset, the singer songwriter. And uh, you might find some stuff of what they've been doing out there on video somewhere. I think they do versions of In the Summertime and stuff. Together originally. He is 
I have since sold 23 million copies. I'm expecting a poster order next month. <laughs> in fact, Barry Murray, the producer, said to the guys, he said, uh, what if you go and do a gig and the promoter says, where's Mungo? So, I'll be going Mungo Jerry. And the other funny thing is, there was an interview that we conducted, all individually, for a major British tabloid newspaper. And uh, Paul King told them, he said that he thought, I don't know what exactly, I can't remember his exact words, but he said something like, in the summertime it's a load of rubbish. <laughs> but it was 2016 and it's as strong as ever. Unbelievable. If your dad is poor, do what you feel in the summertime. You can touch the sky. Hands in the air, hands in the air, hands in the air. Oh, touch the sky, touch the sky. Stretch right up and touch the sky. It's summertime. Touch the sky. Well, last fall, live and die philosophy. You can get your kicks for free in the summertime. Touch the sky oh, Touch the sky Touch the sky Touch the sky Touch the sky In the summertime oh, Touch the sky